Welcome back to Politics Nation. Vice President Joe Biden's comments on Meet the Press about gay marriage ignited a bit of a controversy. Listen. I am absolutely comfortable with the fact that men marrying men, women marrying women, and heterosexual men and women marrying women are entitled to the same exact rights, all the civil rights, all the civil liberties. And quite frankly, I don't see much of a distinction. That comment has sparked a debate on marriage equality is also sparking interest in about a possible Biden for president run in 2016. The vice president joked about that in the very same interview. Who's more likely to run for president in 2016, you or Secretary Clinton? I think we may run as a team. I'm only joking, obviously. I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to run, and Hillary doesn't know whether she's going to run. It's you know, there's a lot of truth nice. and humor, Mr. Vice President. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a laugh, but it could be reality. With 67% approval rating, Hillary Clinton is popular. She's riding a wave of positive coverage in the press, but she's not saying much yet. Do you think the United States is ready for a woman president, or is it still a long, long way to go? Oh, I hope it's not a long, long way to go. <laughs> I, I really want to see that uh, in my lifetime. Uh, You're going to be that woman who's going to break that final glass ceiling. I really, I mean, you know, I, right? I, I, I'm very flattered, but I feel like it's time for me to kind of step off the high wire. I've been uh, involved at the highest levels of American politics for 20 years now. Not exactly a campaign kickoff. But months before the 2012 election, the 2016 race is already promising to be an amazing race. Joining me now is Aaron McPike, reporter for Real Clear Politics, and David Drucker, associate politics editor for Roll Call. Thank you both for being here tonight. Thank you. Good to be here. What do you make of these uh, Biden comments? Was uh, this real or was this Joe being Joe, Aaron? Well, let's not forget, uh, Joe Biden has run for president a couple of times already before. And this is a man who wants to be president. He also said on Meet the Press a, a while back that he would never rule it out. So is he thinking about it? Sure, he's thinking about it. People are talking about it. And he's, he's vice president. So he does have that kind of air. And he could and he could run. But look, Hillary Clinton, we don't know about her either. I mean, Joe Biden just said that he doesn't know if he'll run or if she will run. Bill Clinton said she has to make that decision for herself. Everything she has telegraphed so far suggests she's too tired to do it. But you never know. She might change her mind in a few years. Well, David, I mean, we have heard her say she's tired. She wants to get off the high wire of American politics. But Bill Clinton, let me show you this. Her, her husband seems a little perfectly willing to let his wife run, uh, although he thinks she's sincere. Let me show you what he said. And I believe that she's being absolutely honest with you when she says she doesn't think she'll go back into politics. Whether she does or not, who knows what will happen. If she comes home and we do this foundation stuff for the rest of our lives, I'll be happy. If she changes her mind and decides to run, I'll be happy. So she's sincere. I think that she means it. Come home and rest and we'll talk about it, Hillary. <laughs> That's how I read that one. Uh, what do you think, David? Well, I think four years is a long time. Hillary Clinton is not likely to serve in a second Obama administration. So either way, whether Romney's elected or Obama's reelected, she's going to have a good four years off to miss politics. Her stature has only increased during these past few years. She's much more popular across the board now than when she first ran for president. So for her, I think it's a, a real possibility. For Joe Biden, I think what would have to happen is Obama would have to be reelected and leave off as very popular so he could run as the heir apparent to the Obama administration, much like uh, George Herbert Walker Bush did for Reagan. Uh, beyond that, he wasn't successful running on his own before, and I don't see it happening um, in the future. Now, but, but Aaron, uh, Vice President Biden has been a pretty tough campaigner for President Obama. Look at this. The Romney rule says, let's double down on the tax cuts for the wealthy. That's another trillion dollars in tax cuts over the next 10 years going to the top 1% of American taxpayers. I don't blame her for crying. She's going to... <laughs> She is going to inherit it. America's no, but we can't go back to the future. 
back to a foreign policy that would have America go it alone. Shout to the world, you're either with us or against us. I said before, thanks to uh, President Obama, bin Laden is dead and General Motors is alive. I mean, good lines, uh, good reaction to the baby, showing he's uh, quick on his feet. Pretty good campaign, Aaron. Sure, but it's often the job of the vice president or the running mate to be the attack dog. Can Joe Biden carry a message on his own when he is in his 70s? It's, it's hard to tell. I mean, you know, we're starting to see generational shifts in American politics. President Obama is on the cusp of the baby boom generation and Generation X. So if Mitt Romney does not win and, and President Obama wins a second term, the Republican field that we're looking at in 2016, if that's the case, is star-studded, but it has a lot of younger politicians. So we're starting to move away from, from some of these older politicians and going a little bit younger. So that might make it even harder for, for Joe Biden. Well, David, let me, let me uh, push you on her point about that, because even on the Democratic side, we hear names like Martin O'Malley, Tim Kaine, Andrew Cuomo, all of whom are younger. And the fact is that Joe Biden would be 74 years old. Hillary Clinton would be 69. So even in the primary or facing a uh, younger group of Republicans, how much would age be a factor, David? Well, it would be a huge factor, I think, especially for Joe Biden being 74 years old. It's one of the reasons why I don't really think he would run in four years unless he was the heir apparent and it was just sort of a done deal and the party had, had decided it. Uh, we remember all of the press surrounding John McCain four years ago when he would have been, I think, the, the oldest president elected had he won. And, and age would be a huge issue. And finally, I'd say that Joe Biden's record on his own is not always that great. You know, David Gregory gave the vice president a real tough time, I believe, in that interview yesterday in saying, look, you said you were against the, Obama, the, the raid that got bin Laden. So what about that? And I think Joe Biden would have a lot to answer for if he was speaking for himself and not the president. When he comes out on this uh, marriage equality issue, uh, when you look at the fact that Biden yesterday took this position, absolutely comfortable with the fact that men marrying men, women marrying women, and heterosexual men and women marrying uh, another are entitled uh, to the same exact rights, contrast that with uh, Mrs. Crenn's position, human rights are gay rights, and gay rights are human rights once and for all. They're both taking pretty progressive positions and positions that would appeal to a lot of the uh, progressive and younger voters in their party and across the board. Wouldn't you think, Aaron? Oh, I, I do. But, you know, we've been talking about this for more than a year now, that, that President Obama himself is evolving, as he says, on this issue. And I, and I think what the comments that Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton have made are, are just really showing that. It's, it's not necessarily them trying to position themselves so much as it is the administration as a whole is starting to evolve on it. Aaron McPike and David Drucker, thanks to both of you for coming on the show. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. Ahead, signs the GOP effort to suppress the vote might be working. How we fight back. Next. Next.